Train Pictures presents New Zealand Locomotives, a railwayman's view. Train Pictures caught up with retired engineman Ron Harris, who takes us on a ride back in time. Back to the 1960s, in fact, as we view the transition from steam to diesel power on the then New Zealand Government Railways. We travel through the period with rare video footage, audio recordings and photographs Ron produced when working as an engine driver for the railways. We're now at Huntley, 1960. AB's just arrived with train number 278. Going north is the uh, rail car number 164 heading for Auckland. We used to uh, put a BB and a van on the top of 278. We were on a Sunday shunt here, we did the four corners of the yard. So there's the big signal gantry of Frankton, the social hall on your right, the engine depot up the front, which is where the new station is now. Approaching the Commerce Street crossing, which was a real curse because there were engines and trains going all the time. Now we're going down the yard on our BB, as you'll see the shadow, and uh, there was a little C alongside. The JA, a superb engine. A very superb engine. There's nothing they couldn't do, good expresses, shunts, anything. Over that time, Ron took many photos and films of areas where the rails no longer run. He guides us over some of these now closed branch lines hauling fast freight and excursion specials. Train Pictures also takes a look at the Plains Railway Museum and some working miniatures that Ron built during his time with the NZR. New Zealand Locomotives a railwayman's view.